What's up everyone, welcome back to Workshop Rebuild. In today's episode, I'm gonna be working on the Briggs Fran V-Twin engine once again as I got the gasket kit in today. So let's get to work. On my new workbench, I have some of the products that I'll be using for this engine rebuild. And further on to the back, I have the complete gasket kit over here. I did purchase this gasket kit on eBay and there is some minor issues to the gasket kit since it does cover three different engines. But I'll give you guys a close up view on the gasket kit so you guys can know what you're getting into. In the gasket kit, I have two seals right here for the crankshaft. This seal right here is for the governor shaft. I have cylinder head gaskets right here. This right here is the original cylinder head gasket. And these other ones right here um, are multi-plate head gaskets and another fiber gasket um, head gasket. And this is an information note from Brick Stratton. Just use the cylinder head gaskets which are similar to the original. So when you look at the original right here, it is very, very thin, and it's uh, just one layer of metal, basically. And the ones that it actually represents or replicates is this one right here that I have laid out. And the holes or the bores on the cylinder heads are were all the same. So these two and these two down here, as you guys can see, or compare them to these right here. So these four were all the same. And then uh, I ran into an issue where the head actually has these dowel pins right here. I'll give you guys a close up on that right here. It has these locating dowel pins right here. And that's an issue. So what I had to do is actually um, bore these out a little. I did that on my workbench beforehand. So I just had to open them up. And the thing is, these gaskets right here have a metal plate in between them. So I used a punch beforehand and then I just opened them up with a hand drill just by hand, turning it by hand and making sure they fit all over the dowel. That was something negative about this whole gasket kit right here. But the main gasket right here that is in between both halves of the block is actually perfect. Um, the intake, the exhaust gaskets are perfect. The valve cover gaskets are perfect, the seals are perfect, and everything else was good except for these head gaskets right here. So I'll just give you guys a little heads up on that. So I shared with you guys some of the products that I'll be using and I went into detail on the gasket kit that I ordered from eBay and I shared with you guys the issue that I ran into on the head gaskets. But now I'll move on to the engine parts or components that are right here. Um, I'll be working on the main block first, which consists of the bottom and the top halves of the block. I have the crankshaft laid out, pistons, and some other miscellaneous parts that I'll have to install right here before I can close both halves together. So I'll give you guys a close up on that and then we'll actually start working on this right here. Thank you. 
I finished installing the governor shaft and the oil pump and I will look forward to merge both halves of the engine housings together and for that I'm going to get the gasket ready and my bolts that are over here and before I attach the gasket I'm going to add a thin layer on both halves of the engine housings on this one and the other one I'm going to add a bead of RTV sealant but it's going to be a very thin layer and then I can finally merge both halves together so let's get that done. I got the bottom half of the engine block mounted. Now I can put all nine bolts in and it tighten them to 150 inch pound of torque. It's the next day here because it got pretty late on me last night. I did finish up the cylinder heads, the push rods, and the rocker arms. So all that is in place. I do have to do the valve adjustment, but I'll leave that for later. And now we'll focus on the governor linkage and the throttle linkage, as well as some panels right here. And then we'll move on to the intake manifold and the flywheel. So let's dig into it. outside here the v-twin 16 horsepower Briggs and Stratton is on a stand right here which I made out of wood I added the external oil filter and the right amount of oil so far for the first startup I might have to add a little bit more after the initial startup because there is an external oil filter which may pull a little bit of oil once it's running I have a battery right here since the carburetor has a solenoid 
on the bottom which allows fuel to go into the carburetor. So for that I'll be using a battery. To start the engine I will be pull starting it and I have right here an external fuel tank to supply fuel to the fuel pump which is located right here. Another thing I added was a choke cable right here so I can adjust the choke as I want and on the other side on the ground I have the throttle cable which I have set up as well and I have it set up to the governor as well so hopefully everything is right over there. So I'll take you through the steps on what I do to start up an engine for the first time. I might need to do some adjusting on the carburetor for the fuel to air ratio but other than that I believe it should run very good and we'll see how that goes. So I made it back inside the shop. I shared with you guys the assembly process on this V-Twin Briggs and Stratton 16 horsepower right here. I shared with you guys the first startup or initial startup on this engine. I added the oil filter and the oil so everything is running clean. I also could start it with the starter but I'd have to hook up the battery. But it started just fine with the pull start which I'm very satisfied with as well. This engine did not have a muffler on it so if you're wondering why it's so loud or why it's crackling a little. It's just because there wasn't a muffler on it. The old muffler that I had was just toast. Uh, it was just rotted out. So I'm going to have to find a new one. And I'll actually see where I'm going to put this engine. Uh, I might keep it. I might give it away. Um, we'll see what I'm going to do with it. Since this engine is assembled and it's running, I will wrap up this video right here. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please leave a like down below. It helps this channel out massively. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for future builds that will be really, really interesting. And if you have any comments or concerns, please leave them down below in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible or even send me an email. My email is in the description down below. So as always, stay tuned for the next builds.